everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Susan. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we're going to test out some new products. I'm looking at these on my desk and I see some of them are just new to me. And then a couple of them I think are pretty new. So why don't we get started? Um, I've got my brows done. I use the Precisely My Brow. And if you're looking for a brow tutorial, let me know. Let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to film one of those for you. And then I have my uh, lid set with the NARS Shadow Primer. So now what I'm going to do is set the primer. I find I like to set my shadow primer um, with a either a setting powder or a light shade of shadow because I find that sometimes um, when you're putting shadow on just the primer, it can tend to skip and not go on evenly, look a little patchy. And I find that powder shadow blends better with powder shadow. So I'm using the, um, the Prepping Perfector from the uh, Makeup Molly and Doll 10 collab. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Single in Brulee. And I use this to set my lids every time. And what I like about this brush is it is a nice wide bristle brush. So that way um, it gets the whole lid in just a second. Then I'm moving on to the transition. And I'm using the Shiseido um, Essentials Eye Palette. And this one is Mayuki Street Nudes. And this is such a pretty palette. And I'm going to use this color right here as my transition shade. And I'm using an SL Miss Glam SS57 brush. And I'm just going to put that on the eye. And I'm doing the whole eye. I just find that makes it a little easier to um, for my transition shade. And I tend to go in like windshield wiper motions or, you know, little circular motions. All right. Transition shade is on. So now I'm going to take my uh, flat shader brush here and I'm going to try out the new e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow. And I think the shade is punch, if I'm not mistaken. And it's going to go really nicely with my CoverGirl Desert Glamping Palette. The, this is the new True Naked Quads that they have out. Now, I never used to be a real fan of CoverGirl products, um, specifically eyeshadow, but they have really sort of reformulated their shadow and these quads specifically. And I find that I have a couple of these in different shade ranges, and I find that these blend really well. They're pigmented. But I'm going to use this on my lid and I'm going to use actually instead of my Morphe brush I'm going to use this little Luxie small shader brush because I think it blends the liquid shadow really well so and I'm just going to put this right here on the mobile lid and then I'm going to blend it with um, this little brush See if I can get a little closer. You'll have to forgive me. I am filming on my phone because my camera is not working. I have a feeling I'm going to need to get a new one. I've got a pretty shade in that palette. I think I'm going to put right on top just to set it. All right. Putting some on this eye now. So let's try and blend that out. I need to just pick up a little of that on the, the brush, right from the wand. Use my finger just to, to kind of blend that in. Yeah, that's much better. And then whatever's left on this brush, I want to bring it up a little bit because where I have 
he um, heavily hooded eyes, I want you to see a little of that shimmer. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, now moving on to the CoverGirl True Naked palette. I am going to take, I have um, this little Morphe uh, small um, crease brush. This came in a set of five eye brushes in my BoxyCharm. And I'm going to use this brown shade right here in the crease. And I'm going to create sort of my outer V. And I'm going to sort of blend that. Lid color. Sorry if I'm hiding my eye here. I'm going to create that outer V. See if I can get my little my bigger mirror here closer so that you can see it better. Bringing that down like this. Like so. And then I'm going to take that SL Miss Glam brush and I'm really going to blend that out because I really want it to be very sort of gradient. Okay. Um, this one, I'm finding this one to be just a bit patchy. But I think I fixed it. Yeah. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay. Then going into my this on this glam brush, not picking up any color. I just want to blend that out so it's really gradient. And whatever's left on this little mini shader, I'm just going to darken this up just a tiny bit. Yeah. Now I'm going to take my flat shader brush from that Morphe brush collection. It's just so you know that it's a little bit of kick up and I'm getting just a little bit of fallout on the lids. And I'm going to take this really pretty pinky sort of corally shade right here. And I'm going to just dust a little of that right on top. Oh, that's so pretty. That is really pretty. And then I'm taking this and I'm just blending that darker shade into the lid so that it's gradient. All right, now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the um, liner brush, the slanted angle liner brush from that same collection, picking up a little of that brown, and I'm just going to bring it right underneath the eye here. And I like to make sure that when I'm doing that, I'm sort of connecting it to this color in the outer V. There. Okay. Alrighty, and then I'm taking that same lined brush, I'm gonna wipe it off on my color changing sponge, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of this shade here, just for the inner corner. It is so pretty. Take this little brush again, and this is the Luxie Mini Shader Brush, and I'm taking that again, and I'm picking up that Shiseido kit, and I'm just picking up a little of this lighter color, and I'm going to just dust it um, just below the brow, just the arch of the brow.
like that. And then I'm gonna take a little of the lightest shade in this, which is like a pretty gold. And I'm gonna put this in my inner corner. I wanna see how that comes out. That doesn't really show up too much. That's all right. Let's move on. Okay. So I do have a new product to try today. I'm not sure that this is brand new, but it is new this year. Fashion Brow Serum. This is what the package looks like. And you can wear this alone. You can wear it at night. You can wear it under mascara, which is what I'm going to do today. And it's just a clear serum. So I'm trying this out for the first time today. And it says to, when applying it, you have to let it um, set, but not dry completely, so. So we will do both eyes. And I think what I'm going to do is test this out for a couple weeks. And I'll use this, maybe I'll start tonight after I take my makeup off, use this every night, maybe for a couple weeks, see if I can notice a difference. Now for mascara, I'm trying something new. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. And I just have a baby sample here um, because I wanted to try it. I think I might've got it as a point park or something. And um, it's got an interesting brush. It's flat um, like this, but when I turn it this way, it's sort of rounded like this way. So um, it'll be interesting to see uh, how this works on my lashes. It appears to be somewhat of a thicker formula, uh, or I should say drier. Um, I'm used to more of a uh, more liquidy, wet formula because I, am, I have very little patience. So as a result, um, I, I don't have the patience for a drier formula mascara. So I'm gonna just apply this. And I start off by just simply coating my lashes. And one of the things I like about this is that it doesn't seem to be transferring. So. That's one coat. I'm going in for coat number two. This looks like it might need at least two, maybe three coats. But again, it's not transferring. And I, I personally don't like to wiggle the wand when I'm doing my lashes. I don't need the volume. And that's what you really want to do to add volume to your lashes is do that little wiggle with the wand at the base of the lashes and it makes them look thicker. I don't really need that. What I really need is length. So then I have put the second coat on and what I also like to do is just kind of coat the tops of my lashes as well. Okay, that's two coats, all right. Now for my left eye, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Now you might be wondering why I didn't curl this eye. I have two very different eyes, it's kind of weird. This eye, the lashes come out nicely curled. On this eye, these naturally come out straight and then curve a tiny bit at the end. Then, and then this eye seems to be a little smaller than this eye. And I know everybody's eyes are a little different, but mine are, are quite, um, quite different. I don't know why, but, and also too, this eye is, is hooded a little more as well, which is kind of funny. So I'm just gonna curl the lashes. And then I'm going to apply the mascara on my left eye.
And again, I like to just sweep it versus wiggle because it, in my case, it dispenses too much mascara. And I'm already a messy mascara applier on myself. When I'm doing others' makeup, I am the neatest person. But I have to say, I'm really kind of liking this. It's a little more natural, but I'm really liking it. So um, I'm considering getting the full size of this. I, I like that the formula is a little drier, but it's not pasty dry. Sometimes you open a brand new mascara and it's like pasty dry. And it's like, you know what, what's the purpose? Okay, just want to bring some on the top of these lashes and then sweep it up. And also when you're applying a mascara, don't forget these outer lashes here. You know, to make your eyes seem elongated, really concentrate some color on these outer lashes right here. Oh, I gotta give some love to these lashes on the end as well. All right, so that is two coats on that eye. All right, not bad. I think I'm gonna get the full size of that. I kind of like that. All right, now on the lower lashes. Oh, that's so pretty, really pretty. So on the lower lashes, I'm gonna use uh, my Clinique Lower Lash Mascara. This is obviously not new. It's been around for years, but I find I like this brush a little bit more. So I'm gonna do my best so that I'm not blocking your view. Isn't it funny the faces you make when you're putting mascara on? All right, lashes are done. Now let's move on to the face. So the first thing I wanna do is get this hair back off my face. so that I can apply some primer. And the primer that I'm using today is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. Not a brand new product, but it is new to me. And this is in 31 Blur Fection. And usually I think it comes in a bottle, but this one's in a tube, this sort of deluxe sample size here and so it just has this little squeezy tip oh it's like very gel like almost um silicone -y. so we're gonna put some of this on I mean, it feels nice. Is it blurring my my enlarged pores? Yeah, not really. So let me just get a little more and we're gonna focus right here on these enlarged pores in my nose and above my lip. And let's see, let's see the difference here. Yeah, you know. Not really. Okay. I mean, it feels nice. It's not super hydrating, but it doesn't feel dry either. Okay, the next thing for foundation is I've got this little sample of the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. And this is in the shade 140 Ivory. It's just a little baby sample here. So. Okay. I think it should be fine. So I'm gonna squeeze some out. Come on, come on baby, there we go. I'm gonna squeeze some out on the back of my hand. I'm gonna grab my masked buffing brush and this I've been using lately for um, foundation. So I'm just gonna apply, I always start with this side. Oh, it's a nice color. and really get that foundation up in the hairline. Oh, 
I love how the eyes came out. It's so pretty. I like that shadow from CoverGirl. I mean, for the most part, it blends well. Um, it's not patchy. Um, and I do like the e.l.f. Um, liquid uh, glitter shadow. It's really pretty. I'd like to try and get maybe a lighter shade. And then I do like to blend the foundation down my neck. All right, that's done. I like that. Um, I think what I'll do is um, that and the, and the mascara, I definitely want to try larger sizes of. Now for concealer. I don't have a brand new concealer, but I do have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This has been around a little while, um, but I got a travel size to try it out. This is like a deluxe travel size. And I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Airbrush uh, number 57 to blend that out. And that's what that looks like. Mm. That's nice. It blends well. This is, again, not a new product necessarily, but it is new to me. Okay. Now that that's on, I'm going to use my sponge. This is the one from the Makeup Eraser. And I've got it damp. And what I'm going to do is just go over everything. Make sure there's no brush strokes and that everything is well blended. And again, blending it right down. This is a really nice shade for me. I like that. Again, it's 140 Ivory. All right, like that. Okay, and I don't have a new powder to try, so I'm going to use my, um, my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. And I'm going to use my little Alamar Cosmetics Brightening Brush. And I'm just going to pick some of that up and set right here under the eyes. And then I like to go forehead, nose, and chin. Okay, then I've got a, a larger brush for the perimeter of my face. This is an Isaac Mizrahi uh, powder brush. I got it, um, actually got it at TJ Maxx. And so um, I saw it and I thought, gee, I like big fluffy brushes like this but I don't want it too splayed out. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to dust the perimeter of my face. There we go. Now for bronzer. Um, I'm going to try this one. This is the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Bronzer. And this one is in 390 Sunset Glitz. So... It wasn't open yet. So let's take a look at this. Oh, it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. It is very pretty. So that's what it looks like right there. So with that, I'm going to use my Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush. That's what it looks like. It's, for, it's really fluffy and at an angle, and I kind of like that. I really kind of like that. So I'm gonna pick up some of the bronzer, and I'm gonna start by contouring just a little bit because it is not terribly warm, which is nice. And I'm gonna just get it right underneath the cheekbone there. And I like to just kind of blend it up a little bit. Again, right under the cheekbone, and then I kind of blend it up like this. Okay, for blush, I have a ton of choices here, uh, and I'm I'm trying to decide which one to use. So I have the CoverGirl True Blend um, So Flushed Blush in 320 Love Me, which is beautiful. I also recently purchased the new Tarte um, trio of brushes and highlighters. So I'm trying to see here, I'm looking for a highlighter. Those are all blush. 
and I'm looking for a blush, but let's see, which, which shade do I want? That's more warm, not warm, but nude tone. Let's take a look what this one is like. I should be showing these to you. How silly of me. So as you can see, these are all blushes. This is a um, sort of a shimmery blush, a nudish blush, and then sort of a, a tawny blush. And then I have this gold one. These are really pretty. Ah, look at that gorgeous highlight. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So I think I'm gonna use uh, this blush here. I also have the Kosas uh, Color and Light Pressed Powder Blush and Highlighter, but I think I'm gonna use the blush on um, in this trio. And this is the Let It Glow, I'm Smitten and Getting Toasty uh, trio. So I'm gonna grab my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe uh, French Boutique Blush Brush. Again, just like my contour brush, I like for blush, I like that very fluffy um, angled brush because I'm not one, oops, I'm not one to dispense a ton of color on the cheeks, just a little bit of color as a flush. And rather than swipe it, um, I like to pat it like as if I have a sponge and dispense the color that way because then it doesn't mess with the foundation underneath. So. That's a really, oh my gosh, that's a, such a pretty shade. Now for highlighter, I'm gonna use the highlighter in this Kosas palette. And this is um, new to me. It might be new this year, um, but it's new to me. And this is what it looks like. That blush is gorgeous and look at that beautiful highlighter. Okay, so I'm going to use my Moda highlighting brush. And this does look a little darker than the highlighter in this trio. And I think what I'm gonna do is start off, use this as a blush topper, and then put this highlight on top. So I'm gonna pick up some of that. Oh God, that's gorgeous. really pretty and then I'm going to pick up some of this highlighter this lighter highlighter from Tarte pretty look how pretty that is okay setting spray I want to use um, my everyday vacay so I'm gonna use some of this let's see what the spray is like uh, it's kind of, it's fine but I, I, I'm it's I'm feeling some drops as well okay here we go Oh, yeah. Woo! Nope. Too strong. That's a no-go. Wow. Um, but it's not too bad, actually. I mean, the dots aren't, like, visible. And, of course, if you just go in with your um, sponge and just kind of blend everything. Okay. Face is done. Eyes are done. Lip products. Okay. So for lip products, I have a couple here. I have the CoverGirl um, Ultimate Liquid Lipstick uh, Outlast, and this is in the shade 115 Yay Rose. And I don't think this is brand new um, recently, but it's new this year. Boy, is this gonna go with this look? Yeah, I think it should be all right. All righty. I'm not going to use a lip liner because it's a liquid lipstick. Um, 
it's pretty, um, but it's, it's, um, it's not drying, but it's, it's an interesting kind of formula because it's, it doesn't feel cool and goopy like most liquid lipsticks do initially. All right. I can clean this up with a little concealer. It, 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 it sort of like dries immediately. Okay, interesting formula. Okay, so what I wanna do is go in with my concealer um, brush and just kind of clean this area up a little bit here. Now for gloss, um, I've got this one here from e.l.f. This is the lip lacquer in the shade Bubbles. Really pretty. I don't know how new this is, but it's new to me. Oh gosh, here I am hiding by my mirror here. okay it's not sticky it doesn't it doesn't seem to be too sticky I've got to take the color off with my tissue before I put it back in the wand or I will have pinkish toned um, lip gloss all right so that that's everything that's all the new products so I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you like this video. Don't forget to hit your notification bell so you get notified of all my future uploads. And again, leave me a comment down below if you're looking for a brow tutorial or if you have any comments of any kind, feel free to leave them below. And I thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.